Well, y'all know when I get theater in the building, it's time to get right to it. So up next, we have Isaiah Anderson Jr. giving us some background about this amazing production put on by Acts on Stage. What's up, Isaiah? What's good, lady? <laughs> good to see you again. It's always good to be here. Thank you. Well, y'all are always doing some phenomenal works. And this is one that I think a lot of people are already kind of talking about. They're buzzing about it. Tell us what got this one to hit the stage. Oh, King X the meeting. Um, Acts on Stage has allowed me to do exactly what I've been wanting to do for about 35, 40 years. And that's anything that makes me feel good. Anything that gets to tell a story. Um, and so that I got my grooming from Langston Hughes Performing Arts Center is a blessing. Um, and so years ago, about 30 years ago, somebody said to me, hey man, it'd be nice if you and Carl Mack were to do the meeting. And I was like, the meeting? They was like, yeah, this play about Martin and Malcolm meeting for the first time. And, and I was like, ah, that sounds good. And of course, it never happened. Um, and now, 30 plus years later, in my own theater, Acts on Stage, I get to do just that. I get to dive into and, and, and give people an inside look at Martin and Malcolm and just what would they have said to each other? How would they have responded to each other? Um, and we know how social media, we know what the world wanted us to think about the two of them, right? Um, but what would they have said? And so this is that, and we have a good time doing it. Well, this is one of those stories that I think really kind of sparks interest in a lot mm -hmm. of different folks, as you said, just kind of, you know, everyone taking, having their own take on what yes. this could have been. Um, so putting this together, I know, is, is probably drawing from some inspiration too that you also may have understood it when you're bringing these characters to life. Tell us about how, you know, you utilize your creative ability to bring these iconic characters to life in the, in the cast members that you have in this show. Without a doubt. So not only do I get to take what my history says to me was Martin and who was Malcolm, but that I get to take these characters now, these, these, these gentlemen who decided to take on these roles. Um, Moses, who you'll get to meet, brings a definite uh, perspective that from South Africa, I do believe that he has this knowledge of, wait a minute, we were dealing with a Mandela thing and Martin, you guys were dealing with a Martin thing and, it, and it, how it tied in. And, and so it's, it's so interesting, like Moses doesn't say a lot, but when he says something, you go, mm. I feel kind of unfair that you kept that from me. You know what I mean? So it's, it's just really powerful. And then I get insight from, you know, a good friend of mine, Jamil Shabazz. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, Jay Styles, uh, who's an uh, advocate, you know, avid Muslim, and, and I said, yo, bro, I need you to give me some insight, because I don't ever want to take on the perspective that I know mm -hmm. what was what and how things are thought of, and, and so I'm always reaching out and, and getting um, insight from others so that I can better, per, you know, portray what we need to see. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you, you've done such a great job of uh, not only, you know, bringing your talents to Axel on stage, I mean, you were in shows before. And so I want to talk about that transition for you, right, from being, you know, on the stage and now producing acts on stage, yes. literally, right? Like yes. the, that transition from, you know, someone who understands like characterization because mm -hmm. you've done it to then bringing that out in other people. I know we've talked about yeah. this a little bit, but never really connecting it to the fact that you were them at one yes. point in time. I, listen, I still, <laughs> yeah. let, let me say this. <laughs> Anybody who wants to direct me in a play, please call me. <laughs> Cast me in something. I want to get back on stage so bad. Oh, I love you. I do. I do. But that I still have it. Um, I get to share it with the cast. You know, and a lot of cast we work with at Axe on Stage are first timers on stage. And so it's wonderful to see them, the light bulbs come on when certain characteristics hit them and they go, ah, now I know what you mean. Uh, and so it's a beautiful thing that I have that but I want it back. <laughs> okay. That's ready to get back out there. I'm I ready. Love it. Well, you also have someone who is very near and dear to the Converge Media family here, Sean Good, in the show, playing 
Malcolm X. And this yes. is huge for Sean because, I mean, we have known his uh, amazing usage of mm -hmm. words. I mean, he's always been someone who's come uh, right here to converge and always drop so much knowledge. Yeah. Uh, so how was it for, for you to direct him? I know this is like a first for him too, right? It is. <laughs> and, and, you know, Sean, Sean is a character. We all know, uh, but I love Sean. He brings this perspective. Um, that it's 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 wonderful to watch him go ah you know what that that's not what i thought it was mm -hmm. and to see him fall into this malcolm character and to realize he's got some malcolm in him right that he's like oh, i think i might be a little more malcolm now than i was martin mm -hmm. you know and so sean brings that and and he's very uh humbled and laid back and i'm just here to be talked mm -hmm. let's make it happen and so it's wonderful. Well, that makes for some of the best kinds of uh, productions, right? Mm -hmm. Is like really being able to be directed and guided. Um, you know, you bring your own judge to it, but also a lot of that is through, you know, great direction and you yeah. keep doing that. You know, when we think about the, the difference between, you know, your energy with the young folks with something like mm -hmm. the Teen Summer Musical versus this, where it's like you got, you know, a, a cast mainly of adults. Tell us yeah. more about how you have to shift or pivot in that regard when you're dealing with first timer adults versus first timer youth. Now, Trey, that is an awesome question. Mm -hmm. And Michelle and I talk about it a lot. And Michelle has since said to me, I said, you know how you, when you're working with the kids and how hard you are on them? I said, yeah. She said, you need to do the same thing with the adults. <laughs> you need to do, you know, and it's hard because you're trying to, you know, adjust and maneuver. And they have more, you know, history, more background that you can pull from, the adults do, mm -hmm. uh, than the young people. But sometimes it, you, you can't blur the lines. You have to just do it. You just have to do it. And, and these guys are really respectful. I'm respectful. And that they respect me and the work that I've done um, lends me to sometimes, you know, sound a little stern. But at the same time, I'll get on stage in a minute and say, yo, give me this. Mm -hmm. You know, and they go, OK, I got it. And then we keep moving. So I do pretty much the same thing. It's hard for me to switch it up. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you before I let you go that my son, Johnny, is just so enthralled with the work that he gets to do with Axel on stage. And you have been a major topic of discussion in my household <laughs> because he told me, I just have to tell you this publicly, he said, when I get my first cell phone, the, the picture on my lock screen is gonna be with me and Mr. Isaiah. I oh. said, wow. Out of everyone in his life, Man. he said he want to make sure that you're on his screen. Now, he ain't got no phone yet. You yeah, know right, 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 right. I okay. know that. But <laughs> when he gets there, he was definitely, you know, he has a special place in wow. his heart for you. So thank you for wow. the ways that you have poured into him specifically. I know you continue to do that. Yes. Of course, if folks want to connect, learn more, find a way to support Axe on stage, please look right there in the camera and let them know how they do that. All right, Michelle, I hope I make you proud. Uh, Axe on stage, you can get us at any of the social media platforms that's out there. Facebook, Instagram, you name it, we're there. Look us up, axonstage.com. You can't lose. There it is. Yeah. They got to get their tickets to this show. Running the first two weekends of March, yes? First two weekends of March, the first through the 10th. Please come check out King X, the meeting. Oh, there it is. Thank you yeah. so much, Isaiah. Thank you. And great timing, too, because we got, like, X, the life and times of Malcolm X, the opera. So the opera. this is the perfect time uh, to, to follow up with an amazing uh, production it like is. this. So thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Y'all, right. I get the pleasure of continuing this amazing creative conversation because up next, we got Moses Mastita in the building. He is playing Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. himself. We're going to hear more about his portrayal of this iconic man in American history and the world history right after this short break. Stay tuned, you're watching The Day With Trey.